दिस बाबू जी आई होप नमस्ते भाई नमस्ते तो भैया आई ब्रीफली इंट्रोड्यूस यू एंड यू कैन प्लेस योर शेयरिंग विद इन 20 मिनट्स एज पर द इंडिकेटर्स गिवन हियर जगदीश बाबू भैया इज वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स एट मदनापल्ली इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड साइंस मदनापल्ली आंध्र प्रदेश he has connected with the uhp from june 2021 and he attends the weekly and monthly meetings since then he started attending the morning sessions from may 2022 and he is volunteering in the fdps for ppi and registration he is also sharing uh, content with students in his college as well as in the online uh, students workshop now he is an rc regional coordinator of the south central region and uhp cell coordinator in his institution and he is volunteering in the telugu translation work as a lead volunteer with this brief introduction i welcome jagdish babu belambhaiya for his uh, sharing in the morning session hey over to you thank you sunil bhaiya for introducing me namaste sharmila didi namaste to all co explorers thank you adilet ji for inspirational and experiential sharing now i place my self exploration with a feeling of gratitude to all as sunil bhai i mentioned my name is jaydesh babu bellam and i am working as assistant professor in the department of physics at madanpalli institute of technology and science madanpalli andhra pradesh my parents are living near chittur which is 100 km away from where i am residing now i have two siblings one is working in infosys at mysore and the other is working in bangalore we all get together during festivals at my parents house my wife purnima is very supportive and started working in the same organization where i work i have a son vihan who is 11 years old studying 6th class in sainik school near mysore and a daughter who is 7 years old studying second class as bhaiya mentioned my uhv journey started from june 2021 with introductory uhv after that i started attending all the weekly meetings and monthly meeting in february 2022 i did my refresher uhv part 1 and attended the volunteer workshop at bangalore in april 2022 then i started volunteering for fdp and joined the morning session from 5th batch onwards from may 2022 at the same time i have completed uhv2 besides this i am also taking uhv sessions at my institute for student induction program and sharing the uhv content for higher semester students i have attended as a co facilitator in one of the face to face uhv2 fdp last year all these activities are helping me to get more and more clarity on the content uh, in the recent times i have started sharing this content in student development program and nearby schools also so coming to my understanding emerged from exercise 1 and 2 exercise 1 observing the self by the self i observe my imagination my desires thought and expectations every moment especially the feeling associated with the desires in the first round of exercise 1 and 2 i was getting headache and i was shifting the thoughts by analyzing them i was drifting from one thought to another but now as i practice i can clearly see my imagination especially my feelings 
as and when I am aware. It is very important step. Previously, I used to observe the feeling after the incident or event is over. But nowadays, I am able to observe during the event. For example, during my interaction with family members, students, colleagues, I am able to observe my feelings during the interaction. Coming to step two, I can clearly observe whether the feelings that I have are naturally acceptable to me or not. I started questioning myself every moment that the feeling I have right now is naturally acceptable or not. With this, I am able to see whenever I have a feeling which is not naturally acceptable, then I am uncomfortable. I can see that I decide my feelings that I have at this moment. Whenever I think that I am 100% responsible for my state, then I am at ease and complaints about outside situations or others are reduced. If I am not aware, expecting the feelings from others, then it seems that the other is responsible for my state. Recently, I visited a tourist place with family members. I have noticed that I get disappointed when others are not considering my opinion. Then I was observing the disharmony in me. I was able to see that I have feelings of oppositions for them and I am not comfortable with it. Later, I realized that I am responsible for my disorder. Coming to step 5, on what basis I decide my feelings? Is the decision based on assumptions or understanding? Lot of time, my decisions are based on assumptions and preconditions only. After practicing these exercises slowly, the right understanding is improving. The feeling of irritation while driving is decreasing day by day. I am trying to understand the reality. Coming to step 6, I see that the feelings of relationship, harmony and coexistence are naturally acceptable to me. By exploring within, I see the need for understanding these feelings. I am working on understanding the nine feelings in relationship. Very recently, my management gave promotions to a few faculty and not considered my name. I had a feeling of opposition for a moment and this is naturally suppressed because it's not naturally acceptable to me. I was able to see that these feelings are dying off very quickly when I refer to natural acceptance. I have not stopped there. Instead of assuming the reasons and not getting a promotion and getting disharmony within, I went to principal and clarified why I have not got a promotion. Nowadays, for more and more moments, I am in harmony within. Coming to step 7, ensuring these feelings all the time. I am working on it and not able to see the feelings all the time. I see that trust and respect for all. I am trying to ensure these feelings all the time for all. With this, I will be comfortable within and I will be in state of harmony. So coming to exercise 2, 
observing the cell and the body in space and the interaction between self and the body in the space. I see that my body is there. I see the sensations from the body. And I can see that I am there because I am observing my imagination. I interact with my body as, as and when required. The transaction between me and my body is in the form of information. When I am aware, then I am able to clearly observe the instruction given to the body and sensations in the body. However, I don't read all the sensations in the body and I am not able to observe all the instruction given to the body at this point of time. I decide what sensation I need to read and what instruction to give to the body. I notice that I am not reading all the sensations. I decided to read what is important to me at this moment. While reading the sensations, I clearly see that I am not sensation, I am not in the sensation, but I am at a distance from the sensation. Previously, uh, I mentioned that I had a pain in my shoulder. Nowadays, I have more pain in the hip joint. Now my attention is on hip pain. But when I am busy taking classes or sessions, I don't read this pain sensation. If I am the sensation or I am in the sensation, then I will not be able to read them. So I see that I am distanced from the sensation. I interact with the body or the world outside by way of sensation. I read the sensations by decision and associate meaning based on my sanskar. I tend to react if my sanskar is based on assumption and I respond when my sanskar is based on understanding. After attending morning sessions, most of the time, I am able to assign meaning to the sensations within the body and physiochemical changes based on understanding. This brought harmony within. However, I still assign meaning to the sensation from others based on assumption. I am able to observe my sanskar of shouting or raising my voice with my wife and students. I also expect that all the students in the class should pay attention and secure good mark. Without understanding the reality that all don't have the same competence, I get unhappy that my expectations are not met. Step 7 in exercise 2 I am in coexistence in space. The body is in coexistence in space. Right now it is in the form of information. I am working on understanding the space. So from exercise 1, I can clearly see up to step 6, ensuring step 7, feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence all the time is what I am working on now. In exercise 2, I can observe up to step 5 clearly and now working on step 6 my sanskars, purifying the sanskars that I have. And step seven is a long journey.
to understand the space. So I'm working on that also. I see that happiness is my innate nature. Continuity of it is not possible from outside. I'm not expecting happiness from physical facilities or sensations nowadays. Most of the time. My program is not to get disturbed if the feelings from others are not reaching my expectation. My focus is to develop the right understanding by self-exploration, self-awareness, and self-evaluation. Every moment, I am trying to refer to natural acceptance. I am committed to develop the right understanding and right feeling within myself. I am attending morning sessions every day from fifth batch onwards and also attending team development meetings every week. I am spending two to three hours on average every day as a part of my participation in the larger order. Recently uh, took regional coordination of UHV activities and trying to guide or help others to see this importance of value education. Recently coordinated introductory UHV FDP at my institute for 66 faculty members and most of them are interested and connected and they are resisting for next level FDPs. As a lead volunteer of Telugu translation work I am conveying meetings twice a week for two hours. So, I see more time is left, but uh, I am taking one by one the responsibilities because my professional work is also piling up. So, with this, I end my sharing by expressing gratitude to all. Thank you for the opportunity and your patient listening. My gratitude to all the mentors and co-explorers for their guidance, questions, and sharings. Thank you. Best regards to all. Namaste. Over to you, Sunil Bhaiya. Nice. Thank you, Jagdish Babu Bhaiya, for this nice sharing. Crisp and uh, within time, I would say, very exemplified sharing. Thank you so much. Now, uh, Shamla Didi, over to you for the comments. Ji, namaste, Jagdish Ji. Namaste, very, Didi. Very honest, very sincere sharing. And um, of course, we all have a long way to go when it comes to you know trying to um, purify our sanskars. So it will be a long journey. But like I keep feeling, you know, the very first step to change is to observe that this, there is something to change within, something that needs to change. And so in all our journeys for all of us, that exploration, of course, is still going on and it will continue. There are many, many, many sanskars we may have, all these preconditionings from so much time. So certainly it will take time, but I think as you are going one step at a time, you are able to see this, that, you know, when your expectation is something and the expectation is not met, again, you go into opposition or irritation, anger, and so on. So um, the key is again and again to keep referring to the natural acceptance and, you know, going back to... Um, seeing what is the right feeling and like we all are doing we we when we observe the opposition we are able to see the discomfort so you may have noticed that earlier perhaps the expression it was coming out more often now it is less 
or uh, you know you're able to recover from that feeling of opposition come back to feeling of relationship quickly but the whole thing is that the sanskar when it is driving it it is almost as if you don't have control in it or it seems to be happening again and again and so it is important to notice these sanskars so just like when you notice the feeling of opposition within once you notice it and you can see that you are uncomfortable with it you quickly move to what is naturally acceptable and go with that so same way with the sanskars once you start noticing them then they start becoming fainter and weaker and so you are able to come out of them so um the journey is the same for all of us but very nice you know honest sincere sharing and all the very best to you in the um, future exploration also yes thank you thank you for guiding me i am also co explorer i'm not really guiding just for <laughs> yeah some some light and right understanding is necessary <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Both sharing was very nice today. Very um, honest, sincere.